Today, I'm gonna show you how you can take your luxury property brochure and turn it into a property website using Canva with just a few clicks in just a few minutes. Are you ready? Let's dive in. So this works best if you have a landscape brochure, but if you don't have a landscape brochure, that is totally fine. It's just gonna mean a little bit more adjustment on your part. And if you don't wanna start from scratch, this is our BC Clit lookbook, which you can snag from shopforstreetcreative.com, or you can make one yourself inside of Canva. Let's just make sure that this layout is all good and ready to go. And when we are confident that that's the case, we can head up to resize and magic switch tool, type in website and that's gonna pop up and we can just hit continue and copy and resize open our new website so now we're inside of our website editor and we can just make minor adjustments to make this into a gorgeous property website. The key here is that all of the information that we need for our property website is already here. Each page that you created is now a section of your website. And sections are really cool because if you wanna make them longer, all you have to do is drag them. So you have complete control over these sections for your website now. So it makes editing a little bit easier. Some adjustments that you might need to make are for your cover page, especially if you're using a portrait layout. So you would just select everything and just make those adjustments that you wanna see throughout your design. Another thing that you might wanna do or might have to do is remove pages from the lookbook that don't make sense on your website. Instead, we wanna be intentional with what pages we keep. <laughs> Now, one thing I love about creating property websites like this is that because it's a website, you can turn any one of these images into videos. So if you have a property tour, you can add that to your site. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this video here of a random example realtor who is introducing the property to everybody. The next thing that I would suggest you do is add some more motion and movement by adding some animation. So you can do that with any element that you want throughout the site. I like to make it really easy and smooth and I'll just select everything or just the page itself. And when we head to animate, we can select page animation. And from here, you can just select an animation that works for you. And the very last thing I like to do is add links for any of the contact information. So instead of your phone number, you might wanna add your WhatsApp, your email here, and then connect it to your actual email. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And you can connect your actual website here as well. To connect your email, you're just going to select these three dots and add link. And then you're gonna type in mail to, and then your email address. And now when you click that, it will send them to the email and then you're good to go. So once we have everything set up, it is time to publish our website. So we're just gonna hit this big button at the top here that says publish website. And then Canva's gonna give you some options and I'm gonna walk you through those options now. So they give you the option to resize on mobile. And I tend to not do this because Canva's not the best at responsive design yet. I'm sure they will be, but you can go ahead and play around with it and see what works for you. And then they give you the option to include a navigation menu. I don't like the navigation menu that they have. So if you want to add your own navigation menu, you can do so right on the website design. And you would do that just by adding words and then linking them to the page. And then you can change the URL of this as well, whatever your property address is, uh, or attach your own domain as well if you'd like. Under publish settings, you can describe your website. So this is where you could put your property description. Under advanced settings, click search engine visibility if you want people to be able to find it. And then I do like the link preview. A preview of your website will pop up rather than just a link. And then when you're good to go, we're just gonna hit publish. And here we have a beautiful standalone property website that you can add video to, and you could even add your virtual tour if you wanted to. We can add our own video elements. We can add links anywhere. And that is it, my friends. That is how you put together a beautiful standalone property website using an already existing property brochure. I hope that that was helpful. If you liked this video, make sure to click like and subscribe. Happy designing, my friends.